the ADX indicator. Now, this is a very good indicator. This is another very good indicator that you can use as a beginner trading Forex. We're going to use the ADX indicator. So it's the average directional movement indicator. You can find it in trends. Go to trends and you can find the average directional movement indicator. This is a very good indicator to use because it gives you buy and sell signals. And it also tells you whether the market is consolidating or trending. Now, if the market is consolidating, this line here, which is the ADX line, will be entangled with the other lines, just like this here. When the market is trending, the ADX line, this line here, will be above all the other lines. Okay, so that's how the ADX can be used to tell you whether the market is trending or consolidating. Now, how to use the ADX for buy and sell signals. Now, this is how you use the ADX. Whenever the red ADX line, this is the minus line, crosses the plus line, which this black line here is the plus line, Whenever the minus line, the red line, crosses the plus line, whenever the red line goes above the black line in this example, once it exceeds the black line, okay, just wait until the red line exceeds the black line. As long as it goes a little distance above the black line, that's a sell signal, okay? And the same thing goes for when the black line crosses the red line. Both lines have to exceed each other before the signal is confirmed, okay? So let's look at how you can trade using the ADX. You could sell the market once the lines exceed each other. So you could sell the market here, at this particular point here, you could have sold the market. So that would be right around here. If you had sold the market there, you would have made, let's see, you would have made 140 pips using the ADX indicator. Okay, and remember you can combine these indicators with stuff like trend lines and candlestick patterns and other indicators to form a nice Forex trading strategy. Okay, now let's look at another trade with the ADX indicator. Remember when the lines exceed each other, that's when the trade is confirmed. For example, look at this one. The lines exceed each other right around this level. This is when both lines exceed each other and this is a sell signal because the red line is above the black line. Okay, the minus line is above the plus line. That's a sell signal. So this is a sell signal and you could have sold the market here over 150 pips profit. So the ADX is a very good indicator. Now here's an example where the black line crosses the red line. Let's look at that. So you would have wait until the black line exceeded the red line, which is right around here. This is when you would buy the market using the ADX. So you would have entered right around this level, profit over 140 pips profit. So the ADX indicator is a very good indicator that you can use as a beginner trading Forex, okay? And you can go back and back test using the ADX indicator. Remember, once the black line exceeds the red line, that's when the trade is confirmed. So you would not have entered here, you would have entered right around this level. This is when the black line exceeded the red line. And if you had entered here, let's see. If you had entered there, that means you would have entered the market right around this level. And that's 160 pips. Okay, so the ADX is a very good indicator. And remember, you can combine the ADX with other indicators such as the stochastic, the moving average, the Ichimoku. And you can combine everything along with your knowledge of candlestick patterns, support and resistance and make one big trading strategy. Okay, so yeah, and I can show you tons of examples of trades that you could have taken using the ADX indicator. Remember, whenever the ADX line is entangled with the other line, that's when the market is consolidating, meaning that's when the market is going sideways. Whenever the blue line, the ADX line, is above all the other lines, that's when the market is strong, that's when the market is trending. Here's another trade that you could have taken using the ADX indicator. Remember, you wait until the lines exceed each other, that's when you would sell. So you would sell the market here when the red line, 
the minus line exceeds the black line. Okay, so that's when you would sell. And let's see how much profits you could have made if you had entered the market there. Could have made over 100 pips profit. Now, nothing is 100%. So there might be times when you enter too early using the ADX, which might result in a loss. And that's because nothing is 100%. So here's an example of that. Here we have the black line crossing the red line, okay? And you might have entered right around this level here. And if you had entered here, the market would have gone against you 50 pips. The market would have fell 50 pips before actually rising 100 pips in your direction. Okay, so you might have entered too early. And as a result, you might be stopped out on this trade. If your stop loss order wasn't below the lows, you might have gotten stopped out on this trade because you entered too early. Okay, so nothing is 100%, which is why it's good to combine these indicators with other indicators and with other strategies such as trend lines, candlestick patterns, support and resistance, etc. And form one big plan, one big strategy of trading the market. However, if your stop loss order was below the market, you would have made 140 pips off this trade because the market eventually rallied. Now, one of the reasons why this is a good example is because remember, whenever the ADX line is entangled with all the other lines, that's when the market is consolidating. Okay, and in this example, you can see that the ADX line is entangled with all the other lines. So this is not really the best ADX signal. Okay, so that's how you can trade Forex using the ADX indicator.